today we have so many things to be thankful for. Um, our highs have greatly outweighed our lows. So this is Starry Night's little baby that she had. She had it about two and a half hours ago. And unfortunately, Starry Night didn't really know. She also needs to feed the baby. She's just been licking the baby and licking the baby. And every time the baby went to go and try to nurse, Starry Night would move away from her. So it's been two and a half hours. The baby's tired, the baby's hungry. So we decided to bring her in the house and we had gotten some of this ahead of time. It is kid colostrum supplement so we're going to put that in a bottle and give her something to eat because she's getting pretty hungry and these first couple hours of life are crucial for little babies so we're going to go ahead and give her a bottle right now and see how she takes it
Good job, Ruby. What a good mommy. It is 11 o'clock at night and um, I'm out here and I've been watching these babies that Ruby had for the last several hours and Ruby has such big udders and they hang so low and the babies have not been able to find the place where the milk comes from yet. So they've been trying and trying and they're getting tired and Ruby's getting tired of standing. So I've resorted to milking Ruby and she actually let me, I actually milked a whole bottle from her. So I'm gonna bottle feed these kids so they get something they need to get this colostrum. And um, I'm also, the good thing is I can also give some real colostrum to Starry Night's baby. So I'm working on that now and hopefully it goes well and maybe they'll figure out how to nurse here soon. That would be great. <laughs> So we had a long night last night. Ruby had her three babies. But Ruby's udders just hang so low that the babies have been unable to find the right place to nurse. So thankfully Ruby is very well tempered and I was able to hand milk her so I could bottle feed the babies some colostrum which is vital that they get that in the first uh, couple hours of life so they've had a little bit but I'm really trying to get them to figure out how to nurse so that I don't have to bottle feed three more babies because I've already got starry starry nights baby that I will have to be bottle feeding and these babies just have to learn how to eat on their own so that's what I'm going to be working on today Coming to you from the barn where Ruby's babies still have not figured out how to nurse from Ruby. So I've been hand milking her, bottle feeding them a little bit so that they're not just empty with no colostrum, but they just can't figure it out. I just got back from Walmart and I got a, uh, what's it called? An ace bandage. I got an ace bandage. And what I'm gonna do is I just milked Ruby out so she's pretty empty. And I'm gonna attempt to lift her whole udder by a couple inches, hoping that that will put it more closer to eye level for the babies and they'll be able to find it, figure it out, and then I could take it off. Um, so basically I'm making an ace bandage bra for Ruby. I have no idea if this is gonna work, but at this point I'll try just about anything. So, let's see how this works. So that didn't really work. There was no way to keep it on her. Every time she moved to fill her it off, even though she was pretty patient with me, I just couldn't make that work. So, I'm just going to see, I milked her out so she can keep producing milk even though the babies aren't eating. And I'm just gonna see if the babies get a little hungrier and a little more determined if they can figure it out because she's really not what well, they can't reach. It's just they give up so easy. So I'll be back to check in on them again in a little while. And hopefully there's some new good developments. I'm coming to you now with a victory for Honey Acres Homestead. Behind me, Ruby is actually nursing her babies. It's been almost 24 hours. I've been bottle feeding. I've been trying to guide them. I even tried making a bra sling out of an ace bandage to hold up her udders. But now, almost 24 hours later, after they're born, they're finally learning to eat. And I am so relieved and so happy. 
So all I have to do is teach one more, but the other, the two boys, they've caught on, and I just have to teach this little girl where to find the milk, and I think that's the breakthrough we've been needing and have been waiting for. I'm so, so happy. <laughs> Starry Knight finally learned how to nurse her baby. So this little baby got to go back to be with her mommy. Here's our baby of the house for the moment. This is Ruby's little girl that she had. She just has not figured out how to suck yet. So I've just kind of been, she, her mouth is so crusted from milk. She's not really gotten the hang of eating yet. So I've been helping her with the bottle. Gonna keep working on it. For now she's in the house, but I'm going to bring her down to be around mom and continue to practice nursing. Hopefully she learns pretty quick. Her brothers learned last night how to eat from mommy, so that's helpful. Yeah. You good girl? You hungry? So I just walked down to the barn and I had just missed Dark and Stormy having her babies. She had two healthy girls that were walking around and trying to eat and unfortunately she also had a little boy that didn't make it. Um, this could be for several different reasons. He looked healthy but it's just hard to know really what was going on. It's very sad when you lose a baby goat, um, especially when you just, when you weren't there and you just don't know really what happened. Um, I just missed it and that's just the way it goes sometimes. So we are gonna just keep watching um, these new little girls and make sure that they do well and that mommy keeps taking good care of them. And that's just the update from the ever-growing Honey Acres Homestead. Whenever you raise animals, breed animals, um, care for animals like we're doing here, you just have to know that you're gonna get some low times. There's so many highs, there's so many exciting moments when babies are born, but you just know that you're gonna have those moments when you have to bury one of them, or those late nights when you have to stay up and teach the babies how to eat and bottle feed them. You're gonna have those times. So you can't just expect everything to go easy. There's lots of things that can go wrong, but at the same time, there's so many things that go right. So as long as you persevere through those times of trials, of sadness, and just keep striving and pressing onward and doing the best that you can at those moments, sometimes there's something that you can do to help and sometimes there's nothing. So having faith that God is in control of all things, good and bad, and not giving up, that's what our goal is. So today we have so many things to be thankful for. Um, our highs have greatly outweighed our lows. We have babies that are learning to eat. We have new babies born today. And even though we lost one and there's been some struggles, it's been wonderful and we feel so blessed. So just taking it as it comes and striving to do our best in every situation. Thank you for checking out this video from Honey Acres Homestead. If you like what you saw here, please give us a thumbs up or drop us a comment down below.